get these upgrades for tools as soon as possible. They are super awesome. Stay tuned for that. What's up, guys? My name is Frankie Boy. On this channel, I'm covering everything regarding open world RPGs, such as, of course, our beloved Assassin's Creed brand. And today, we're going to take a look at the best upgrades for our beloved tools, of course. I will tell you how you will slash through any enemy with ease. They won't find you, they'll be distracted, they won't remember you and they will die instantly. It sounds too good to be true, but the tools are what makes Basim rock. All right, let's start with the throwing knife and let's see which upgrades are the best. Of course, the extra capacity, having more throwing knives is essential because you actually have a skill that allows you to do a set chain assassination and this requires you to have a knife. Having six knives gives you a 50% boost on available chain assassinations. At the end of the trickster skill tree, you can actually get a second tier one skill or upgrade for for the tools, which I would recommend as Sharp Blade, because you deal more damage, then you can easily one-hit enemies even when not headshotting them. This is insane, especially on console. As for tier 2, I would totally recommend Poison Tip. Tipping the enemy with poison is very nice, because again, if you don't headshot them, they might not die instantly, and with the poison, they do. Also, you have the chance to poison the Shakia guard that chases you, and this is quite a nice damage for them. I wouldn't recommend the Heavy, heavy Blade, it's totally worthless in my opinion, and the Light Blade is okay-ish, but you have the damage boost right here, so you don't need that. I won't pick the increased range, it has a decent range. As for the tier 3, you can choose between those. You either pick the armor piercing if you have problems with those armored enemies. Me, myself, I just throw a smoke bomb and assassinate them, but um, you can totally pick that. It's a nice perk. The other option is, of course, corrode the body and the bodies disappear, so you let them hit the floor and nobody will remember that you were there. All right, moving over to the smoke bomb. Of course, increased capacity is always awesome. My second choice is the increased duration. Also a very nice one. Throw distance is not needed because you actually will just sometimes do the throw below you like quick cast it and that's most of the time so that's not needed at all. What I would say is needed is the silent blast. In the tooltip you can even see how to use it. You will create a fall a wall that will not make any noise so enemies don't see you and they won't react to the smoke bomb because they don't hear it. They will react to it of course if they are in it but that's it. Using it as a healing is no option in my opinion. That's not nice and also the choking fumes it's not awesome. This is like some basic damage. It's not poisoning them so you can't really combine it with a flammable smoke so you have first a poison and then a fiery effect. Moving on to tier 3 the flammable smoke I just spoke about is total BS. Don't pick it. It's not nice because it actually just ignites the smoke and it's gone. It's like the upgrade for Valhalla for the smoke. Totally worthless. Don't get it. I won't recommend it. I don't know why you would even pick it because the damage is not nice. You need two smoke bombs to kill a normal guard with it and that doesn't make sense in my opinion you can just place a smoke bomb and assassinate three targets in the time so you have a 100 of three kills that's much nicer instead i would get the mind wipe it just erases the guard's mind they forget Get about you. You can place it as a wall between guards and if they get into it they totally forgot. Oh Basim? I don't know who that is. Let's just mind my own business. Awesome update. Awesome updates for the trap are in my opinion of course increased capacity always king and as the second tier one perk I would pick the increased duration. For tier two the wider burst so you have a larger explosion more guards push down. I wouldn't recommend the fracture because if you put the guards down you can one hit kill them. It doesn't make sense to weaken them. Also, the Whistler trigger doesn't make sense in my opinion because you want the trap to be triggered when they get into it. White Burst, awesome pick. Deadly Blast? Mm, it's not deadly. To be honest, I tried it and it doesn't kill the guards. So why is it called Deadly Blast? It should just be called Blast. And that's crap. You want the longer duration pushdown combined with the longer duration of a tier 1. You have an insane amount of duration. And in that time you can easily kill one by one with R3. Enjoy. Over to the Noisemaker. And this one really shines at tier 3 and before it doesn't. Of course, increased capacity as usual. My second pick is the range. Duration is not really needed, I guess. And you can even extend the duration to infinite if you want to with some other talents. The cloud impact, in my opinion, is very nice. 
it applies a cloud. It has an area of effect. So you can use one blow dart blow and effect two enemies that are standing next to each other that would normally like see you. One would at least see you if you do an assassination and another one. It could work of course with the special assassination Basim has. The lethal dose, yeah, targets are poisoned instead of put to sleep. I don't know, just poison isn't that insane. I think it's very nice if you have the large hit of the knife and then poison. Poison in general doesn't do too much damage, so I wouldn't recommend it. You can think about it though. Potency, targets no longer can be awakened. That's nice. Or enraged targets die after the effect ends. That's totally considerable because we want the enrage at stage 3. It's super awesome. And you can put this on a boss and one hit kill him with this talent. Yeah, in combination with the enrage. So this is like a total boss killer combination if you want that. But I use my throwing knives for the bosses and I just use this for fun and uh, let the guards like enrage. Berserker dart is super awesome in my opinion. You would only pick this deep slumber if you wanted to just no kill kill run or so so you can put everyone down into a infinite sleep and they won't be killed by you so that might be useful for some side quests in general the berserker dart gives me those ac4 wipes where i was in the caribbean and everyone was enraging while i was safe on my ship all right moving on to the noisemaker that's like the little boy we don't really need it except for if you try to play stealth only um increased capacity again then we have the increased draw range as my second pick for the fireworks um that's cool because that actually looks really nice and it has a nice amount of crackles so guards get attacked attracted a longer time and they will stay in that thing and ask themselves uh, what's going on here what's that shit i mean the weakness it doesn't make sense in my opinion and uh, sparks yeah i don't need that for fire i can throw my torch if i want to as for tier 3 terror doesn't make sense because you want to control it's crowd control making noise you want to control enemies and by using that they will run away and you can control where they run so they might accidentally run into you i wouldn't recommend that that's why we pick shockwave and this actually dazes targets breaks cages vases and walls you might accidentally like free someone or so or get some loot or kill a snake and that's just super useful in general so pick the shockwave it's like a tool for crowd control for attraction and use it that way because otherwise it, if you use it as some damage tool it doesn't make sense to me all right let's put these tools to a test they are super awesome i think everything in assassin's creed mirage evolves around the tools and i would totally recommend you guys to use the tools all the time and also go for the trickster tree i will have a skill tree um video up for you guys and i also have like this video that was very popular on the 61 different outfits and weapons etc in this game all right making use of some tools so in this kind of situation you could either do like a blow dart and let one guard kill the other that's totally useful and you can just chill here and watch how they <laughs> interact with each other they will just beat each other's beep up okay next up the smoke bomb of course this one is silent they forget that they saw me and they forget that i put <laughs> up that blow dart so yeah we can just go in and assassinate one target if we want to then we can disappear and they should forget about us if everything works and no bug is appearing so that target is still in enrage and they actually forgot that they were in enrage. Next up, let's distract them with, with the noisemaker. So get in the noisemaker and also make sure to use those tools because you have a lot of achievements by uh, accomplishing these. So they get attracted to that and you can now make use of the trap and trap them all at this area. Everyone trapped down and we can kill them. The trap is super awesome, as I said before, because they will stay on the ground for so long and we can easily just kill them one by one, even a longer duration than the smoke bomb. Okay we are visible that's the disadvantage but we can just relaxedly kill them all right throwing knife is our last tool and i totally love it i think it's super op and you can see that i one hit him with any kind of hit but if i don't one hit him i have the poison effect i also have the skill where i can collect my knives after a killing so let's collect this knife so there we have it back again and we can throw it on the next target that is a guard over there and also make sure to see if you reach them, um, the target will be highlighted red, of course. It's very hard to miss that. And that's how you rock with the throwing knives. They are like the most useful tool. You get them back all the time. I also totally adore noisemaker trap combo. So you can do like this trap and uh, then you try to reach it with the noisemaker. Okay, they, they are down anyways because I, I missed, uh, didn't miss them. I just hit them and... Uh, 
Ah, let's do the combination again and throw something in and attract them all. Gotta attract them all, noisemaker. There we have another trap. You can also use like the quick use, of course, or the trap and then go in one by one. Okay, we have the boss. He doesn't be like to be hit by traps. Um, it's, It just annoys him a little bit. But throwing knives are super awesome on him. Throw a few uh, throwing knives and he is going to die very click quickly. Okay, he just used the potion, but another throwing knife and don't worry because you will get almost everything back from him and as you can see just before the start of the fight we had the trap on this guard and he is still down so this is like an eternity and if you want to you can just leave them uh, alive uh, totally possible uh, for you let's get this uh, slow time effect going uh, we missed Bloop. Got that one down. And now we can go further into the other area to the Cartographer. One of the best NPCs in this game. He will save you a ton of money. All right, guys. I hope I helped you guys out a little bit. I love tools in this game. I think they are super duper awesome and totally needed for the best experience. Get those upgrades as soon as possible. You can get them very early by just farming everything you need for them. Of course, you need the components. And how do you farm components? You can either do side missions at the bureau they grant components or you just go to the trader and buy them i would totally recommend getting the 30 percent off at the trader and buying them all the time and combine that with rebuying them after each story boss because every story boss kill will restock the vendors super awesome to know i hope you guys learned a little bit see you guys in the next one and goodbye yeah, well,